My name is Richard Rudd, one of the support engineers of Boomi, and I'm going to be showing you the process of deploying a molecule into a Kubernetes environment. The Kubernetes environment I'm using for this video is an AWS Elastic Kubernetes service utilizing an EFS file system for the persistent volume configured per our reference architecture. A persistent volume is required when deploying Boomi containers because Boomi is a stateful application which requires persistent storage for the application and data. The main thing to ensure is that the EFS file system is writable by the user ID 1000 because the Boomi application in the container runs as this UID. I'm going to be deploying a stateful set on our KFS reference architecture with a few notable differences. I'm setting the container image version instead of using the release tag because this allows me to control the version that I'm using. I'm also using an install token instead of account name, username and password. Bear, bear in mind, the install tokens are one-time use only. I also specify the Boomi environment ID to add the molecule to an existing Boomi environment. Now we can create the stateful set by applying the configuration. We can see the stateful set was created and the first pod should now be running. This pod will be performing the installation of the Boomi application into the persistent volume, which we can watch by following the pod logs. We can see the installation was successful and the Boomi application will proceed to start. The file not found exception and warnings here are expected and do not cause any issues. Once the Boomi process is running, the pod should be showing as ready and the next pod will start. If we switch to our Boomi platform page, we should now see the molecule online in our account in Atom Management. And we can see the node starting up. There we have successfully deployed a molecule on a Kubernetes environment. Thank you.